Hi all, um, today I'm going to be talking about this. Uh, it's a free gift bag I got from Target. Uh, this pregnancy I've been doing a lot of research on different places you can get like samples, free stuff for a baby because kids are expensive, really expensive. Um, so I heard that if I made a registry at Target, I would get a free gift bag. I wish I'd known this was my son because it's one of the better bags. It's really nice. So I'm just going to go over um, kind of what's in here. And, you know, this is one of the best ones that was free. I've gotten a couple of these bags or gift boxes so far. This is the best one that didn't require you to purchase something off the registry or to pay like a shipping fee for the free box. Um, I got this in Target in Chicago on November 1st, 2019. I don't know if they vary much about location. What I've been hearing, they kind of vary month to month, but you get pretty much the basics. So, first thing in here, it is a little Pampers sample pack. So, I really like the Pampers brand. That's what I use with my son. Um, no issues as far as leaks or, you know, rashes or anything, which we did have issues trying out different brands when he was smaller. Uh, Pampers do get expensive, but it is what it is. Um, so it's a little changing pad. Nice to have. A little changing pad. Um, a sample pack of size 1 diapers. And a sample of sensitive wipes. And coupons. Everybody loves coupons. We have a pack of Huggies sample diapers. Now, I did try Huggies with my son when he was small and he got the worst rash ever. It was horrible. So, most likely, I am not going to even try these. I'm going to give them away. I know a couple other pregnant moms who might like them. Um, you get mixed reviews. Every kid is different. Um, some people love Huggies. They swear by them. But my son had such a bad reaction that I'm definitely not going to try with this baby. I don't even want to go there. More sample pampers. So we have a sample box of the Honest Company pampers. So I've heard good things about them. I've actually never tried them. Um, we'll give it a shot. See if, you know, you have any breakouts. I have really sensitive skin. My... Son has really sensitive skin, so I'm guessing that this new baby might have the same issue. Fingers crossed that she won't, um, but we'll see how this works out. Have a Dr. Brown's bottle. Now, these are really good bottles, um, and they're kind of pricey. Um, I'm hoping to breastfeed exclusively for the first few months. I tried that with my son. It did not work out. I ended up pumping um, pretty much exclusively pumping, um, and these bottles were by far the best, so I'm glad we got this in the sample pack. A book of car uh, Target coupons um, with a Starbucks gift card in there, or a Starbucks coupon. Love Starbucks. Like, it's a lot of coupons, like maybe 50, so that's definitely nice, and it's coupons for pretty much everything that you have a sample of in here, plus some other stuff. So we also got a sample of the baby wash and lotion by Honest Co. Again, I've never used this brand, although I've been hearing more and more about them lately. We'll see how that goes. Um, boogie wipes. So apparently this is supposed to be really good for, you know, wiping, you know, the grossness from the baby's face. They tend to have a lot going on there. I always just use regular wipes, but... Maybe this is going to be something better. I don't think I will actually go out and purchase these, honestly. Regular wipes have always worked fine for us. And we have disposable nursing pads and two milk storage bags. Now, these milk storage bags I used with my son. I loved them. Um, they're really good quality. And you can pump directly into them depending on the type of pump you have. Uh, as far as the nursing pads, I will definitely use them. I like them, but I don't think I will go out and buy disposable nursing pads just because you can get some pretty decent reusable ones for fairly cheap and they'll last you a while. Um, but if I get enough samples of the disposable ones, maybe I won't have to buy reusable ones. Whatever, but I'll never spend money on the disposable ones. But I do like this brand. They have reusable 
nursing pads and I like them so so I have some baby Gannicks moisturizing lotion never used it um, again since my son had really sensitive skin we kind of started out with stuff that we didn't think would irritate him so we didn't you know do too much trial we'll see how it goes with this baby um yeah we'll see how it goes i just definitely don't want to do with deal with any undue rashes or anything like that so speaking of rashes drift uh a lot of people swear by this i hated it it broke me out um it broke my son out and it's supposed to be like the best thing to use for a newborn um or someone with sensitive skin maybe we're the wrong type of sensitive skin I would definitely be giving this away to someone um because a lot of people like it a lot of people swear by it that you know it doesn't cause them any issues so I'll give it to someone who feels that way but it's definitely a no for me I have a man pacifier um this is another brand I really like their bottles um I got gifted some with my son really nice bottles and he had a pacifier he wasn't a huge pacifier kid, and I'm not a huge fan of using pacifiers after the first couple months of life, but this was by far his favorite pacifier, and probably the cutest one that we had, so. We have a sample of water wipes with a coupon on the back. Um, I'll definitely use these. Hopefully I remember the coupon on the back. Hopefully. We have a sample of the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Stretch Mark Cream, which would be for me, obviously. Um, I hear it helps. Of course, there's nothing topical you can really use to eliminate stretch marks altogether. Um, but this is supposed to reduce the appearance. I have never stuck to using this because I don't like the smell. But great reviews. I'll maybe try to stick to it, get over the smell. Um, yeah, I just don't care for the way it smells have a teeny tiny sample of Aquaphor. Um, I actually love Aquaphor. This is one of the few moisturizers I was able to use on my son in the beginning that did not break him out. Um, so we keep, a, even now, he's almost three, we keep a huge jar of Aquaphor in the house. This is one of our go-tos. Um, so I'll probably end up buying more Aquaphor. It's something we keep in the house anyway. Um, but it's nice to have this little sample. And then we have Lastly, um, a couple mini bottles of baby products. So Dove, I've had issues with Dove since I was a kid. We're not even going to try this. It's going to be gifted to someone. Johnson products, always been a no-go, not a fan. Gifted to someone. And then these two. Um, I actually love Aveeno Baby. I love Aveeno products in general. Um, it's something I've used before. I use for my son. Never had any issues um, from the baby wash to the lotion um, to the eczema cream. So that's good. And then Cetaphil. I actually use Cetaphil cleanser and moisturizer for myself. Um, and it helps if I used it more consistently. I probably wouldn't break out quite as much. Um, but it definitely helps clear up my breakups. So, ugh, clear up my breakouts. So hopefully it works well for my daughter. I've actually never used Cetaphil Baby for my son, which is so weird because I use the regular Cetaphil for myself. And we have very similar skin types. So you would think that they would work. I just, I guess I'm not that smart to have considered that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Everything in the bag. Um, I will say there's a lot of variety here, as you guys can see. And it was super easy to get. I went online. I already had a Target account because... Everybody has a Target account because people love Target. But I made a baby registry, and then I just went in the store and went to the customer service desk and said, hey, I made a baby registry, and the lady handed me a bag. Um, I did hear from someone else that when you get the bag, they're supposed to scan a code in your app to say you got the bag. They did not do that. So I might go to a different Target tomorrow and say, hey, I made a baby registry. And maybe they'll give me another bag. Um, maybe they'll scan my app. Maybe they won't. 
but it's like I said it's a nice bag so I wouldn't mind getting two um, I would definitely grab one if you're expecting um, just make the registry even if you don't plan to use the target registry as your main registry um, just make it get a free bag of samples or goodies unless any of the things here um, are not things that you're really interested in uh, I have gotten a couple bags I got one from bye bye baby um, I got a box from Amazon. This is one of my favorites. I think the Amazon box beat it out a little bit, but getting the Amazon box is a little more involved. Um, and I'll go over that in another video.